Pizza? There you go. Highline High has been craving something like this. There you go. Famished for a few more wins, both on the field and off. There you go. You. You're welcome. This feast shows the pickings are good. That's the one, huh? But it wasn't always this yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. This feast is thanks to Coach Cooper. We'll see, huh? Someone who knows the feeling of being hungry for change. Deontay Cooper was a former UW standout, or at least should have been. He came in as a four-star running back, but spent more time running from injury than running the football. It felt like Groundhog's Day, right? Tearing your ACL in the left knee the first year, and then tearing again the second year, and then tearing your other leg the right the third year. Three torn ACLs before playing one college snap. I've been playing football since I was eight years old and never been hurt before until I got to college. It was a college career that ended up lasting seven years. A playing career that ended with an NFL tryout, but nothing more. And a football career Coop was prepared to leave. It's so funny that I, I ran from it. I ran from it at first, right? Because of that experience. Like, oh man, I was poured so much into this and I didn't get the end result that I wanted. But he wanted closure even more. So he turned to coaching. Despite the, the, the cruelties and the, the, the experiences that I went through in my college career, um, I just knew there was more for me to give the game. Let's be a head coach. Let's go try and lead a program and let's go try and in inject um, some of my learnings into kids and, and, and coaches and teachers. Coach Coop got his start as an assistant at Bellevue then his first head coaching job in 2019. Here we go, here we go, here we go. High line high, where the football program had hit its low. There was no expectation, right? There was no standard. Um, there was no belief. Historically, it struggled academically. The kids struggled uh, athletically. How can I implement some things and change this culture? In three and a half years, Coach Coop has done more than change the go. culture. We gotta go. He's changed the future. A winning season and a district title for the first time in a long time. There's been a lot of people talking about something happened in 1950. The wins on the field leading to wins with student retention. Coming into Highline, it, I've heard a lot of outside noise from people like, oh, you shouldn't go to that school, you should go to this school because you'll have a better chance of getting recruited out of that school. All the stuff that's, that's been said because of Highline's history. Which is why the present tastes so good. A feast with families the night before game day. We break bread together. A feast that's helping heal the scars of the past. Just as much as I'm pouring into them, they're pouring into me. And quenching the hunger of a school. All right, Lord, see you tomorrow. And a coach. It's all purple tomorrow, wear your purple. In Burien, Jake Garcia. Yep, wear your purple. King 5 Sports. Coach Coop doing an amazing job. He's also assembled an all-star assistant coaching staff, several also from the University of Washington. The Pirates can win a second straight district title with a win over Renton on Thursday. Great story there by Jake Garcia and Coach Cooper and his staff. I, I love this because this is a team you go five years back. Could barely win a game. Wow. Grades were down. Didn't have a lot of numbers. Now you look, grades are up. The amount of so kids. So much pride. So much pride. Participation is up. And the wins are up as well. So way wow. to go, Coach Coop. Keep it going over there at Highlight. Hard work does. Yeah. Right? And a commitment. It does.